The effectiveness of any software is in part down to how easily and quickly people can use it. This is where onboarding comes into play. Onboarding can have an effect on user attention, engagement, and their satisfaction with the product. Most onboarding information is the same for every user. It's a one size fits all approach. So our question is, can we provide personalized information, but with generative AI? Could generative AI tools like ChatGPT used to create a more personalized, efficient, and engaging onboarding experience? Let's find out. Let's start by looking at some of the key areas related to onboarding where generative AI could make an impact. Firstly, Generative AI systems like ChatGPT can understand questions asked in natural language, and they normally respond in a conversational way. They're not deterministic like the chatbots you tend to see on banking sites or when you order cinema tickets. They can provide answers to questions, complete tasks, or point users to the relevant information. Generative AI can identify and remove redundant or irrelevant steps in the onboarding process based on the information about the user and their interactions with a chatbot. It can also optimize the onboarding experience by deciding the sequence and timing of the onboarding steps. This could reduce the time to value and help users discover more advanced features at a later stage. At a basic level, the system could provide a list of links to the information that's most relevant to the user. In this situation, you wouldn't make any other changes to your onboarding content and just do that. Generative AI can personalize the onboarding experience by providing information examples that are specific and relevant to the user. In this situation, the system generates personalized information. This makes the process more engaging and effective as users feel that the information is tailored to meet their specific needs. An AI assistant could provide an interactive checklist that guide users through important setup steps specific to their role. Generative AI also enables users to find help content by searching in regular sentences rather than by using keywords. And that can make finding help easier. So how do you implement a chatbot that provides personalized information? We're going to look at three approaches. The first option is the very simple way. The simplest approach is to give the user some introductory content and tell them to paste it into the start of each chatbot message. This content would provide the AI system with contextual information, such as the user setup and their level of experience. This approach relies on the users being comfortable, conversing with a chatbot and remembering to paste in the content you gave them. Some users might not be good at asking the chatbot the right questions or instructions. The advantage of this solution is that it's simple and quick to set up, but it's unlikely to work for every user. The second approach is to use a backend server. This approach asks the user some initial questions about themselves, and those questions might be in the app or via a web page with a form. You then embed those answers in the prompts that are sent to the chatbot. The answers to these questions can be used to substitute variables that have been inserted into the prompts that you have developed. So let's talk about the backend systems role. With this option, a backend system serves as the intermediary between the user interface and the large language model. It's responsible for collecting user specific information and feeding it into the chatbot, into the large language model, such as ChatGPT to generate personalized responses. The backend system could collect data from various sources, such as user profiles, databases, or even real-time user interactions. 
When the data has been collected, the backend system can process it to fit into the prompts that go to the chatbot. The backend system will then send this processed prompt to a system like ChatGPT, which will generate a personalized response back on the input. We mentioned in a previous video about using Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, to set up a chatbot so it only uses your content and nothing else. This is another database. This is a database that contains your own data. In this situation, the AI system uses the large language model like a processor. They retrieve your data and then put that data into the large language model's prompts. The prompts essentially tell the large language model, here's some new data that you haven't seen before, here's some context, here's a question. Given this context, plus the question, please give me an answer. The third option is similar to the second option, but it's much simpler. In this case, you would use a site that offers prompt as a service. This service essentially replaces the backend server in the previous option. Again, you ask the user some initial questions about themselves. The prompt as a service then uses the answers in the prompts that are sent to the chatbot. The answers to these questions can be used to replace variables that have been inserted into the template prompts that you have developed. You deploy your templated prompt through the provider's REST API. This means you could embed this prompt into a web page or in your app. For example, where we interact with the API using curl, if you enter this API request, it returns the following response. In a real world situation, you'd have users engaging with the chatbot via a web page or the app itself rather than making curl requests. But I wanted to show you how it works. The advantage of this service is that it's quick and easy to set up. There are some disadvantages. You pay a monthly subscription fee or for the amount of data traffic to and from the API. And these systems are limited in their ability for you to add your own content. You can upload a file containing question and answer pairs, but that's about it. And that might rule out this option for some of you. So to wrap things up, generative AI has significant potential to transform onboarding into a more engaging, efficient and customized experience. Specifically, chatting with users in natural language to provide answers and guide them, to optimize and personalize the onboarding journey and the information for each user, and to generate personalized examples and explanations. If you'd like more information on how generative AI can be used in technical communication, then you might be interested in our training course. And the link to that course is on the screen now.